Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The police say steps are underway for the alleged leader of the Klansman gang, Tesha Miller, to be deported to Jamaica. Miller was held in the Bahamas and the police say he is now in custody. The National Security Ministry is reporting that it has now restored and improved two cell phone jammers at the Tower Street Adult Correctional Center. According to the ministry, the jammers will block incoming and outgoing cell phone calls at the maximum security facility. The Port Antonio-based Titchfield High School will be seeking its second hold on the prestigious TVJ Schools Challenge Quiz Trophy when they face five-time champions Monroe College in the live finals Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Overseas, the world's largest humanitarian crisis in 70 years has been declared in three African countries on the brink of famine just as President Donald Trump's proposed foreign aid cuts threatened to pull the United States from its historic role as the world's top emergency donor. In sports, the Independent Anti-Doping Disciplinary Panel will on Wednesday and Thursday convene the preliminary hearings into the alleged anti-doping rule violation of Jamaican athletes Khalees Spencer and Rika Hilton. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be mainly sunny across northeastern parishes. In the late afternoon, expect widely scattered showers mainly across hilly inland areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.